Hey guys, uh, welcome to the 30 days of API testing with Rest Assured and welcome to this tutorial where we gonna master the CRUD. I'm gonna show you how to create your local server, uh, local JSON server and how to play around with the uh, get, post, put, patch, delete these CRUD requests and that we are doing in Postman in this video and after that we'll automating the same request into the by using the Rest Assured library, right? I hope you are excited, so let's get started. All right, so let's jump quickly. If you haven't installed the Postman, I will recommend you to go to postman.com and download it. It's a very simple one, a uh, simple uh, way to download it. Just click on download and uh, there's a step by step instead of uh, instructions. You can just download it. OK, and so I have already downloaded here and you will see this kind of a interface where you can enter the request here this is the input box this is the stpp method which we, we're going to choose so we have lots of stp method we, which we, we are going to play around and right so most important thing guys is that we need an api to work with right and if you have seen lots of uh, videos online right they they are just using this simple api which is request response right but I'm gonna not gonna use it. We're gonna use it. Or oh, uh, we 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 will basically creating uh creating your own automate uh, own uh you can say API right. So we're gonna use a library which is JSON server, right? So what JSON server does is it basically create a fake REST API for you, and that is available in your local, right? So what you need to do is that uh, you need to uh, before that you need Node installed in your machine. So make sure you just go to Node.js dot org right and click on download and uh, you can click on 12.8 version any version that you want and install it right uh, go to the your command line tool and make sure you have installed the node so if you do if you type node let's say version i'm sorry version right so i have node version 14 installed so everything works fine now you need to install the json server so you can copy this command and here Right, uh, so this will install the JSON server, and I have already installed, so I don't need to do it. The next thing you to do too is that you need to create a file, which is the db.json. So let me show you how this files looks like. Uh, you can copy the same, same one from here, this this code, right? Or you can use mine also, where I have created one more thing, which is students, right? So when you have created this, I'm going to put this uh, file into the description. Don't worry, guys. So now you need to run this. Uh, so you can use this one, this command JSON server, my hyphen hyphen watch tv dot JSON. If it if this uh, command gives you error that JSON server is not installed, right? You need to basically use uh, here uh, while running this command, you need to use minus G in that case. OK, minus G is basically globally. Uh, so now it will run and this is the thing. So let's do one thing. Let me show you how this uh, API looks like. So you, this is the home page of the API that we have created. We have one API which is ping pong. If we, we, if, we if we give ping, if we make a get request of ping, it will give, the, give us the result of in pong. And we have blog post, which is basically contains ID, title and author in a array format, right? So you will see that it will give you a list of bold blog post. It will give you list of comments. Similarly, this is your profile ID. Profile ID is an object which contains only the name. Uh, you can have a profile of a student. This is a student's array containing the information about the different children. For example, we have roll number one ID one, which is name is Pramod, ID, name, age, address, and further nested JSON that we have. I have explained you in the earlier videos, right? And uh, that you can play around. Similarly, we can we have a person array also per a person uh, person uh, person's array. It's again an array uh, containing multiple persons. So we are going to do a CRUD operation for all of them. Right. So guys, this is the important thing. You need to pay attention now it starts now. So let me create a new new collection in front of you. So I'm creating a new for you guys. Its name is array demo, right? Uh, let me delete this one also. Now let we, we, we're going to start with the basic method, which is get request, right? If you know, uh, if we, so we're going to use this one. So I'm going to click plus here. Uh, we're going to choose the get method. 
we don't need need any kind of authorization so this is a open api since it's residing in our local so we don't need any authorization uh, no headers this is the by default header headers added by postman no body no pre 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 prescripts pre no test cases so just click on send and here you will see that the result is pong right so it means get request from working fine you can save this request into your ra demo let's say ping ping save it as ping if you see we, we have a save save the request so now let's do one thing uh, let's go a little bit complex let's uh, create a blog post so this is the get request of blog post right uh, if i do get request this is on there is only one blog post with the id one title this author one right i'm going to create a new new blog post so whenever you want to create something you you will use which http method post yes if i have guessed it right we are going to use a post request and we're going to use the same endpoint now the point here is that if you are creating a new resource you need to give id title as well as the third information is author type right so we're going to type we're going to select the body we're going to use raw in that case uh, if you are dealing with forms you have to choose form and these are encoded forms sometimes i'm going to explain you these kind of uh, these forms and what are these things in the, in the uh, postman uh, playlist right See, it is already there so if you want to learn about the certain advanced stuff uh, right now stick with the raw we're going to select the json so when you select the json there is a uh, right so we have selected a json now what you can do is that we need to create a new resource right so we need to send an object here so let's so the id will be two and the title will be let's say promote author will be promote the, the let's suppose stick right let's click on send and if you refresh this get right now you'll see there are two resources new resources created which is post one right and uh, now uh, let's save this request again ra demo which is create new blog post right blog post right now similarly you can create the new student also so i'm going to show you how to create a new new student so there are two students as of now you can copy the full object first right uh, now here we're going to select the post method body raw again json right and we have to use this endpoint now let's make it three right now we have two two uh two one right uh we have if you see right there's an address i'm not going to change it just let's make it the the and everything remains most of the things remain same it's a fake api guys so you don't have to be worry about it let's make it 339 let's send it and refresh it right so now we have three uh students created right uh, the first one is promote promote and data now let's do one thing which is an important one let's update it so we're going to use a partial update which is patch right similarly you just need uh let's do one thing i'm going to show you how to do a patch request but to make a patch request you need to have already created resource so we're going to target the third id so here you need to type three we're going to target the third third id right let's change this url to patch and we're going to send the same thing we're going to just mention let's do one thing let's change to second one so that promote promote is not there right let's make it two let's make it two let's change it to lucky so that we can have a three different things so uh you can do 23h let's keep everything same and everything works fine as you can see lucky is updated it means patch is working fine patch is partial update guys uh, but the point here is that you can do the full update also in patch so that is again a different concept now let's do a put request so we're going to do a put request on the second one uh, which will basically update the full uh, it will basically it will tell the server to just replace this json with the existing json but in the patch request it was just the things that i have only changed for example name and uh, age that i have changed right so that was the that was the payload is basically as understandable by server in that case so put again let's do same thing let's make it small <laughs> name small okay 
and again yeah so it is updated right so this is how it works if you understand post most of the thing uh, you will understand patch uh, put also uh, but in patch and put you have to mention the ids for which resource you want to do a put and patch right you need to mention those but here in the post request it is basically a new creation you don't need to pass anything make sense cool let's do delete also if you want to delete something uh, you don't need to mention anything just mention the id let's send it and here you will see two is deleted one and three are available make sense yes so this is a manual testing scenario now uh, you will ask me okay how do i test it uh, let's let me create a new resource again okay duplicate id because let's do four right so four is created and we have a blog post right so blog post is created uh, here we have blog post so how do you test it in in postman you can write your test cases here but we are not concerned about it because we're going to write the test cases same in the rest assured guys so uh thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video until we meet again guys